I'm gonna bring you along while I completely write and produce a full song from start to finish. And this is all a part of my personal challenge of making and releasing over 50 songs just this year. The song you're about to see me create took so many crazy turns and it started very differently than I normally do. And I ended up even recording my almost 100 year old baby grand piano. So let's make some music. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is something that I haven't done in a while. And I just, last night I was thinking about this and I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna work out an instrumental and then we'll come up with a top line. This is the chord progression I came up with that's gonna be the foundation for the rest of the track. A plucky and kind of eerie piano with this minor chromatic chord progression. Something really kind of moody, aggressive-y. I did have a chorus idea. I'm no stranger to the talk. I'm no stranger to the talk. Something really crazy like that. Talk, I'm no stranger to the All right, so that's the chorus. That's really easy. I love it though. I'm no stranger to the dark. I'm no stranger to the It's gonna be really kind of cool to actually use the baby grand here for this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just so step one is to record a MIDI piano to get the basic layout set up, and then I'll add in all the other layers from there. And then once it's mostly done, I'll record all the live elements together. And then chorus. Now we're just gonna create a bunch of MIDI tracks. Saint, I'm not a sinner. I'm not a da, uh, uh, uh. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. That's sick. We're just gonna literally move along. I wanna see how quick I can do this. Like, honestly, I wanna see if I can almost get like an entire instrumental kind of put together here very, very quick. At this point, I'm just looking to find really textural sounds like plucks. I mean, you gotta have a boom. Booms are like a, a staple for me. Tasty. And of course, just the real life of constantly exploring new sounds and finding sounds you don't actually want to use so that you can actually get to the ones that you do want to use. Uh, okay, let's just try like a string ensemble. Heck freaking yes. Okay, so then I want that to be like an aggressive, like some and then like cut off really quick. Bap. Something like that. Ooh! <laughs> My boy, Sean Barnes. He's the guy that has uh, Zenith. Way, way to be, bro. That, that sounded dope. Cinematic tools. Okay, I just, I just want some like crazy textures. And now I'm just looking for creepy, like, string textures and stuff to add in here. Oh, yeah. I ended up deciding that I want to skip forward to verse 2 to figure out just how to make it sound a little bit different from a textural perspective, so I ended up using this really cool muted piano sound from Hammers and Waves. Not a saint, not a hero. And then I decided to go ahead and just finish out kind of the whole arrangement to get an idea of where I'm going for the whole song. So then once I finish the production, everything's already there from the pieces standpoint. Okay, boom. Like that, we have an entire like map out of the whole track. So then now the question becomes, <laughs> what do we do with the rest? All right, so drums I think is gonna be like a huge part of this. We're definitely gonna need to go hard on the drums. I think I want there to be like this cool tension between like the sustained and shorter stuff. Like maybe do like synth organ. Ooh, some organ. Like really theatrical. Wow. 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 mix this with like a bunch of kind of like synth sounds, I think you could wind up with something really crazy. That's 
pretty legit. I'm almost gonna just like keep going down this path of like figuring out just some I know that Berlin strings has some really good accent strings, and so maybe we'll just use that for like... Heck <laughs> yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, now that that makes me think of... I could probably do the same thing with the brass. I ended up having this crazy idea for a wild piano part since I know that I'm gonna record live piano eventually, I thought it'd be really cool to do some almost classical inspired stuff. And then I decided to go ahead and add these crazy chords in the chorus with the piano to again emphasize the classical sound. And since the classical piano stuff was on my mind, I went straight to the bridge and came up with this cool piano part that's gonna end up being the bridge. And why not go even further and just add some pizzicato strings to make it sound even more kind of creepy. And then I had this huge explosion part where we definitely needed the strings, and then I just decided to add everything. And then I wanted to see if I could come up with some really crazy weird texture percussion elements to add in here too. And then of course, trailer hits. Finally, I get to start working on some drums, so I added in these crazy trailer drums doing triplets. And then, of course, I'm gonna add a hip-hop beat in here as well. I ended up spending a little bit of time just experimenting with what beat to come up with, and then the simple kick and snare sounds like this. Next, it's time to actually start exploring for a bunch of different drum sounds. I tend to use a lot of different drum layers to add a lot of detail and nuance. And of course, around this time, my lapel mic literally died, so you can't hear anything I'm doing for the next hour. So I'm just gonna voice over for you. These are hi-hats. I just put in a really basic hi-hat groove and then I spent some time adding in some rolls and cool little additions to make it sound even more cool, like this. And this is the super fun task of adding more hi-hats. Next, I want to do one of my favorite things, which is adding in toppers. Toppers are essentially like these cool rhythmic elements that just add a cool background thing that most people don't even notice, but if you take them away, it, it's like you can tell. And while I'm thinking about toppers, I went ahead and added another topper in verse 2. And then I had this like really weird idea, like what if I added gun recharge sounds, like what you're hearing, and use it as a transition into a chorus? I mean, that'd be kind of cool, right? I mean, that was pretty cool, right? Yeah, that was a string drop. My favorite. Also, transitions are so underrated. These cymbal swells make such a big difference. And then I took this crazy bass sound and decided, what if I just mangled it up and made it sound cool, like this. At this point, I decided to go back to verse 2 and start adding in a few other little pluck elements, and I found another really cool pluck sound from the Hammers and Waves libraries. And for those wondering, yes, this was done pretty much all in one sitting, apart from, like, a couple little breaks. 
Okay, so I'm pretty much fried. So pretty much got this whole thing instrumentally produced today. Tomorrow I'm gonna hook up my Osmos and I'm gonna try to record some of the sounds from there because those sounds are just ridiculous and I really wanna plug them into this. And then I'm also thinking I'm gonna see if I can record my live piano here behind me. We'll see where we're at. I might not have time to record vocals, but otherwise we'll come on Monday and just crush these vocals on Monday. And uh, doggone, like literally this whole thing came together today. Tomorrow, we're gonna see if we can finish this. Let's do it. Okay, it is Friday morning, pretty early, and we are going to crush this song. All right, so I listened to the car a few times yesterday as I was driving around doing some errands. One thing I wanna do is pull up my new Osmos instrument, find some sounds, add some of those in here, just layer it up a little bit more. So most of this morning is just gonna be kind of beefing this up, and then I wanna write the lyrics, and I wanna basically be set up so that on Monday I can just knock out the rest of the song, finish the vocals record everything and then boom, it'll be, it'll be done. So yeah, I might also, we might also start working on some live piano as well. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is just listen through and I wanna kind of focus on like transitions, like getting from section to section, make sure everything's sounding really good. I think I wanna add a bunch of risers and hits and more impacts and stuff like that, but we'll, we'll give it a listen. So like I said, what I'm doing here is just going through and listening to the entire song from start to finish and just seeing what things I need to add, what things I want to change, and all the little fine-tuned details I need to fix. One thing I'm noticing is like these trailer drums. Dun, dun, da, da. I want them to have more like high end, a little, like a little more like top kind of punch. And maybe that's an EQ thing. I might actually, you know what I might do? I might just try pushing some of the... Wow, that actually did it. That, that was an EQ thing. Like, I, I felt like it was kind of just like very low, kind of low heavy, which is fine, you know, that it has some of that low end, but I really wanted it to have more of that just like really attacky stuff. <sighs> what else do I want to fill in here, guys? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to this point where like, I have an idea of certain things I want to do, but then there's there's other stuff where I'm like, okay, do I need, do I need more? I, I do want some, I just want some more like little kind of interesting drum additions. <laughs> That's actually really stinking cool. I ended up deciding to see if I could find some sort of a kick drum that I could make sound a little bit underwater for one of the verses just to add a little bit more of a driving rhythm to the whole thing. What would that sound like if it was filtered though? Sick. Then I want to see if I could use that nickel harp sound that I found to add even more of that plucking rhythm in the second verse. Oh, that'd be kind of cool to do something like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I actually think that I want to record live piano now. All right, I'm gonna basically start practicing a little bit on here. There, there's some tricky stuff in here for sure, so I'm just gonna practice a little bit, run it through the whole song a few times and see how we can make it sound. I'm just gonna record just to get some takes. No harm in that. What you hear right now is actually the very first thing I recorded and it sounds amazing. Completely raw, absolutely no effects in the piano whatsoever. Just completely what it sounds like coming into the microphones. This is the very first time ever recording with the Audient ASP 880 preamp and I gotta say, it sounds absolutely killer. The tone is fantastic. It sounds just incredible as you can hear. So I spent a little bit of time practicing and then just got straight into recording. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's cra <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. I just want to hear how this actually even sounds. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. <laughs> I'm just going to actually go ahead and record now. The 
two hand thing. That's actually really hard. Now this whole section here that I'm playing right now took quite a bit of work. I actually had to spend probably 15 minutes practicing this before I could actually accurately record it. It's not just that I have to get this whole romantic. The pedal too is... is... will work out great. Oh man, I'm not I'm not in practice. I know some of you might be like, "What?" But I mean, I've also been playing the piano for like literally 20 something years, so. I'm sure that if you were just to simply assume and guess, I'm pretty sure you can figure out that this was a really, really hard part to do. And I really wanted to capture it live and I did not want to do this using MIDI. So I had to spend a good chunk of time on this. All right, I gotta get that timing. Oh God, that's hard. I think that's gonna work. And this is me just doing it over and over and over and over and over again, just constantly messing up. No! Ah, so hard. I ended up just going to a different part of the song so I could come back to that a little bit later and make sure I could feel like I was actually making some progress. All right, I think I'm just gonna go to the halfway point. I also love using the piano in really different ways like this where I'm using my finger to essentially mute the string to give it a really interesting quality and it just fits so well in this context. do this whole section again. It's... So I decided to go back to this section, which ended up being so frustrating. We're gonna get it. We're going to get it. I think I need to almost like get my body into the motion to feel it a little more. Ah! This is hard. That was the closest one. We're almost there. No! <laughs> No! I had all the rhythm, it was just those notes. I messed up a couple notes. But then... Oh my gosh, I think that was it! Oh, I think that was it! I just like don't want to do this in comps. Oh! I think that was it. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It's not even nine o'clock in the morning, friends. Let's go. All right, I just want to listen to the whole thing. This whole thing ended up taking about 45 minutes to record the piano. And when it was all said and done, between all the different takes I did, it was 61 total takes. All right, so I just got done listening to that for the first time. That took us a total of like 45 minutes to do everything, but that was including some practice. So I'm pretty stoked with that. I'll need to double check some things, but I need to go get some food. So we're gonna do food, we're gonna come back. Uh, I'm gonna comp the piano, so we have that locked in. I will say, this this sounds so good. I'm extremely happy about this, and I know some people might wanna know. So as far as the microphones and everything, I am using the Loughton LA120s for the pencil mics here, and then I'm also using Loughton LA220s right here. Outside, to be honest with you, you don't need four microphones. Like if you were to record a piano like this, it just depends on the sound that you want. If you want a really intimate sound, then these close-ups definitely get that. But if you want just like a very pure piano sound, putting it in the arch of the piano like this sounds incredible. Time to take a breather. All right, so we are back. I'm gonna spend the next uh, little bit just going through and comping this, see if there's anything I need to re-record. Everything's still on on the preamp. Everything's still where it's at. So if I need to re-record anything, I'll be able to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spend some time comping this. So comping this didn't take very long. It only took about 15 minutes. All right, so we got done doing that. The next thing I'm gonna do is start recording all of the uh, live synth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Osmos over. And then I'm gonna do all the recording and then I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the timing alignment and all that stuff. I don't think there's a ton to do, but I definitely wanna add some of the Osmos in here for some like ethereal and textural stuff. It'll be sick. Now, um, you can you can use this with MIDI. Um, I'm just I'm just not gonna do that right now. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and start searching through. I'm just exploring some sounds right now, trying to find what I can use in the session. Mm -hmm. 
It's actually almost a little bit hard to commit to things because almost every single sound that I pull up is inspiring, and so at some point you do have to just stop and actually pick which one you're gonna go with. That's sick. I'm gonna see how this blends. That's so dope. Heck yeah. Ooh, some organ. Do I want to add more? Do I need more? Is there more? Oh. I mean, freaking what? That sounds freaking nuts. The thing I love about this instrument so much is that you can press down and get the dynamic. Fuck the octave here. This is, this is actually crazy. This is adding so much character. Oh my gosh. Like, like that, like that. Like, are you kidding me? Like. Like all these morphing sounds are crazy. I ended up spending about 45 minutes working with this instrument, recording all the parts, and next up I need to just literally go through and comp and do all the time alignment and all the detail work. So what I'm doing here is getting everything time aligned so it sounds totally accurate rhythmically speaking. Okay, so that took a little while. That took like 45 minutes to go through and just like edit and, and get everything time aligned and all that jazz. I'm gonna give my ears a break because I've been going on this since like 7.30 in the morning and it's 11.30 so we've been going for several hours. And then I'm gonna write lyrics later. We'll see. Now we have guests staying at our house over the weekend, so just have to kind of get everything ready in. So hopefully I have time to work on lyrics, but we'll see, we'll see. Took a breather, got some things done while my kiddos are awake. So we are back at it. I'm gonna write lyrics for uh, No Strangers to the Dark. We're gonna see if we can just knock this whole thing out lyrically today. Crazy good. Also, I took a shower. That's why I'm dressed different and look different. Be clean. I kind of want to just do the chorus first. So my idea here is actually taking a little bit from the bridge. So I had this line, I'm not a saint, I'm not a hero. I first fall somewhere in the middle and I realized it wouldn't probably sound weird to recycle that in the chorus, so. I'm no stranger to the dark. I'm no stranger to the dark. I'm not a hero. I fall somewhere in the middle. I'm no stranger to the dark. I'm just recording all the vocals that I already have lyrics written for that I did earlier in the week. And then I'll start writing the new stuff. All right, we gotta do the verse. Wake up, wake up, we're in a revolution. Wake up, wake up, we're in a revolution. Okay, so I kind of want the song to, to feel a little bit like I'm the person who's willing to kind of go a little bit dark in order to protect people. Like, you know, there's the sheep and then there's the wolves and the wolves obviously are violent and they go after the sheep who are helpless and 
who protects the sheep? Well, the sheepdogs protect the sheep and the sheepdogs have to be kind of similar to the wolf in order to protect the sheep. Like in order to protect the sheep, you have to have, you have to assert a certain level of violence. I kind of want it to be that way. Like I'm not a stranger to the dark. Like I'm not a saint, I'm not a hero. I'm not, I, you know, it's kind of questionable, but I'm, I'm not a stranger to the dark. Like I'm, I'm willing to get my hands dirty and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I need to protect people kind of a thing. That's, that's the essence of what I want. Pretty much right away once I started getting on this verse, I was feeling way, way off. Like nothing was coming together. None of my ideas were working and it became pretty evident that I was brain fried and that if I kept trying to do it, it was just not gonna go well. Man, this is, this is really hard. Sometimes songs just come out so quick and this is not quite how I thought it was gonna be. Especially since the rest has been so- enemy. This is quite frustrating. It's like half there, you know, like I just need the verses. I'm just not liking, I'm not like in love with any of this, except for the chorus and the bridge. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe just take the weekend to reset. I've been working on this for probably 45 minutes and usually if I'm like this far in and I've gotten like basically nothing written because the chorus is was, the chorus is pretty much done already and like the bridge was done already. That to me is a signal that maybe I just need to step away from it and then come back with fresh ears. We were, we were on such a roll, but the instrumental sounds crazy good. The instrumental is crazy good. I'll see you when I come back to this. Okay, it is Monday morning and we are gonna start. Let's do it. All right, plan of attack today is to finish writing the lyrics for No Stranger to the Dark. Yeah, and that's not what happens. That's not what happens at all. As you're about to see, it was literally more frustrating than Friday. It was bad. Let's write this song. Let's do it. Like a thief in the like a thief in the night. Like a thief in the night. Try to take me by surprise. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, it looks like it's starting pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, starting pretty good. Sin, oh, I've got a cynical, and it's so tip. Oh, I've been cynical, and it's so typical. I feel like when I'm away from the studio, I'm like, oh, like I think I'm gonna get it. And then and then I'm like opening it and I'm like already feeling like literally like a couple minutes in and I'm already feeling like the dead gummit. Where do I go with this? Like a thief in the night. Try to take me by surprise. I gotta think about this a little bit. Like, what am I trying to say? This is like so the thief trying to take me by surprise, trying to kind of like take what's mine. Mmm, mine. Like a thief in the night, trying to take me by surprise. It's I'm gonna do a huge favor and just condense what is actually like a 30 minute session into just like this statement. It didn't go well. Gosh dang it, I don't like that. I feel like I'm kind of at this crossroads right now where I need to figure out if I'm going to continue trying. We've been going for about 30 minutes now. I need to figure out if I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep trying or if I just need to kind of do this in chunks. I might just need to do this in chunks because I feel like some ideas kind of have hit me, but it's not like the whole thing has hit me. I, I hate that lyrics sometimes just come to me like so easily and sometimes it's just, it doesn't come easily. I've got a bunch of like video editing I have to do uh, for some music video stuff. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give this a break. I'm gonna come back to this in maybe an hour or two. And I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna take some breaks, come back, take some breaks, come back, see how I'm feeling and we'll go from there, so. Let's do it. I'm hoping I can finish the song today still. I think that we could still do it. Yeah, that, that, that's not gonna happen. <sighs> okay, I did. I literally just took a shower. This is hilarious. I took a shower and I was literally thinking, I'm not gonna have any ideas for this song. It's just been killing me. Like all day I've been thinking about the song. Nothing has come to me. And then I took a shower and then it came to me. So let me, let me, let me show you what this is. Of course, it's in the shower on the voice memo. Probably hear the... Don't wanna stand up and fight. So you wear a disguise. I know it's a really simple line. You don't want to stand up and fight, so you want, uh, so you wear a disguise. That's kind of the idea. I'm like out of breath right now because I like literally ran down after I got dressed. Let's do it. All right, so like a thief in the night, you try to take me by surprise. Don't want to stand up and fight. Like a thief in the night, try to take me by surprise. Don't want to stand up and fight. So you wear your disguise I'll take a stand for the light Get my hands in the dirt I'm no stranger Obviously that 
kind of sucks. It'll, I'll have to work on the performance of that to really get. Try to fight behind my back. Try to stab me in the back. Try it like a sneak attack. You better know what you're back. You better know what you're back. Kind of want to like do it like a monster, but better know what you're back. Okay, I like the idea of like you wear your face like a mask. You wear your face like a mask. You wear your face like a mask. Man, this is gonna be one of those songs where I like literally write it in chunks. That's not very inspiring, but it might be what I need to do. You wear your face like a mask. Wear your face like a mask. Run from your past. Trying to hide from your past. You're running from the past. You wear your face like a mask. Looks like you're running from the past. Ooh. Looks like you're running from the past. Try to hide up things like. Mm, 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 Try to hide in plain sight. What gives you the right? Try to. I feel like we're getting somewhere, but. I feel kind of defeated right now. Like, I, I know I got a few lines, but this is kind of killing me that this is like just such a work a little bit, need a break, work a little bit, need a break. I don't know. I'll try to come back tomorrow and finish it. Ah, oh, I just really, really wanted to have like this. I, I was hoping to have like vocals done today and I'm over here like having even finished writing the lyrics. So sometimes things seem to be going super great and then and then you run into roadblocks. That's life. So I'll uh, I'll sleep on this and, and I think tomorrow we're gonna, I'm gonna really try to power through it and see if I can't finish this song. Okay, we're back. So, you know, was hoping to finish this song yesterday, but here we are, it's Tuesday. Ugh! But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We're gonna finish this song, let's do it. Okay, so we're just gonna go to this second verse here. Try to hide in plain sight. What gives you the right? Try to, try to, no, 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 your past life, your past life. Try to hide your past life. Oh, there we go. You bet to run and hide. You wear your face like a mask. Looks like you're running from your past You try to hide in plain sight What gives you the right? Try to hide your past life You better run and hide I've been fighting on the right side Fighting for Fighting for the weak The right side And finally, what I've been craving I started getting into a groove with this song I've been fighting on the right side I've been tiptoeing too close for comfort Got some evil in me A bit too close for comfort I touch the darkness Oh Touch the darkness I touch the darkness just to get it over Oh, just to get it over So I have to ex I like kind of speed that I touch the dark I've been fighting on the right side Been tiptoeing the sideline A bit too close for comfort I touch the darkness just to get it over. Yes! Oh my gosh, she's had it! Did we do it? I think we might have done it. Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it, we got it done. Oh, thank God. You know, is this is this my favorite song lyrically that I've ever done? No, no it's not. I feel like I kind of had to fight and claw my way through this one, but we got it done. Imperfection is not, is not what I'm striving for. Completed work is what I'm striving for. I'm gonna take a breather. And then I'm gonna warm up my voice and then we're gonna do vocals today and I'm gonna try I'm literally gonna try to get the vocals completely done today and see if I can't get a rough mix on this because it's Tuesday and tomorrow I want this video to go up so you guys can like see the thing so like literally what you're seeing today if you're watching the day this video goes up was yesterday so anyway I'm gonna take a breather rest my voice plug the microphone in and then we're gonna go let's do it all right so we are officially gonna record vocals now it's gonna be legit I cannot wait to get this done so we're gonna just start we're just gonna get started right from the top this ended up being one of the most intense vocal sessions I've done in a very long time the whole session took almost almost two hours to do all the lead vocals and all the harmonies and doubles and it ended up being over 60 tracks of just vocals. So I'm gonna try to condense this down for you as best I can to show you the best of. And it's so typical You try to fight behind the back You try to stab me in the back You try it like a sneak attack You better now watch your back I'll take a stand for the light I get my hands in the dirt You wear your face like a mask Looks like you're running from your past you Oh, I've been fighting on the right side Been tiptoeing the sidelines A bit too close for comfort I touched the darkness just to get it over Alright, I think we got 
a lot of really good options here. Ah, uh, you know what, let's just do the first chorus. I'm no stranger to the dark. I'm no stranger to the dark. I'm not a saint, I'm not a hero. I fall somewhere in the middle. I'm no stranger to the dark. stranger to the dark so what i'm doing here and what i usually do whenever i record vocals is i put the track on a loop so that way i can literally do three four maybe even five takes pretty much without stopping that also really speeds up the whole workflow what i'm going to do is like two sets of vocals like one's going to be the i'm no stranger to the and then the dark i'm no stranger to the 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 i'm not a saint i'm not a hero actually ridiculous the number of vocals in here is kind of outrageous is it over the top oh oh i assure you it's over the top this took like right at an hour look at all of those vocals that's kind of ridiculous all right so we got all of our lead vocals done and pretty much all the harmonies done in the choruses um but i have some harmonies i want to do in the verses but i need to get those comped first just to make sure i get them comped and know which takes i'm using i'm going to comp just the verses and then we're going to come back and quickly knock out the rest of of the vocals there's already so many vocals i already am like Editing this is gonna suck, <laughs> basically. But it's gonna sound so legit. I'm gonna go comp these vocals now. 15 minutes later. Okay, so I just got done with comping. Oh my gosh, this is, uh, this is gonna be quite the ordeal. I realize there's a lot more vocals I wanna do, actually, both in the verses, and then I still wanna do the first chorus as well. Part two, part two, part two. Uh, so I've got some tracks loaded up for the harmonies. We're just gonna do doubles. I think we're just gonna do that. So you wear your disguise. So you wear your disguise. Oh, it makes me cynical. And it's so typical. Try to fight behind my back. Try to stab me in the back. Try it like a sneak attack. You better now watch your back. So I'm adding in some additional vocal layers on the first chorus, which is not the big chorus. I originally had only done the lead on this part. I'm not a saint, I'm not a hero. I fall somewhere in the middle. I'm no stranger to the dark. I'm the last thing I'm doing here is just adding a couple little vocal parts in verse two. And this whole rest of the session ended up taking about 25 to 30 minutes. Sidelines, oh, I've been fighting on the Oh my gosh, I think we did it. There are so many vocals. Like, just look at the session right now. Look at the session right now. That's insane. That is so many vocals. So it's like almost noon. So yeah, the rest of my days is gonna be tuning these vocals. Ugh, editing and tuning, fun stuff. And then, and then I'll have something cool to show you. Editing and tuning these vocals literally took two hours. It took so long that what you're seeing is 10,000 times faster than regular playback. And the 10,000 X playback was still over a minute long. Oh my goodness gracious. That was literally almost two hours of vocal editing. <sighs> two hours. Oh my gosh. It's now mid-afternoon. Like half of this song is just vocals now, which is nuts. It's gonna show you how some of these sound. So, and just look at this. There's like, there's no plugins on these vocals yet. Dark, I'm no stranger to the dark. I'm not a saint, I'm not a hero. 
I fall somewhere in the middle. I'm no stranger to the dark. So I'm having this idea right now that is like, I know it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt to do, but I love the idea of the instrumental on this chorus. I'm no stranger to the... On each of these like, so you could ba, ba, ba. I want it to like cut to nothing, like bars, bars, bars. Uh, and the reason that's gonna be a pain in the butt is because probably what I'm gonna want to do is print everything to audio so that there's no MIDI, and then and then actually just manually go in here and like just cut it out, and then I'll probably add some sort of like a bash to kind of suck it in every time. Uh, I'm gonna show you this uh, the big chorus. I'm no stranger to the and just look here. There's no plugins on any of this. The only thing that's on is like a single reverb, and the reverb is really not super wet, so barely any reverb. Like, like this. I'm no stranger to the dark. I'm no stranger to the. I'm not a saint. I'm not a hero. I fall somewhere in the middle. I'm no stranger to the. <laughs> No plugins. And that was, there was no compression on the way in. It was literally just my preamp, the, the new Audient ASP 8080 that I'm using. I think what I'm gonna try to do right now is at least get kind of like a rough mix because tomorrow's Wednesday, which is when this video is gonna go up. So I'm not gonna get it mixed in time for that. And besides, I'm not gonna show you the whole mix anyway, cause it's kind of boring to be honest with you. So I'm gonna knock this out and then we'll come back and take a listen and it'll be sick. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's, do, let's, just, let's just do this. So what I'm doing here is chopping up those parts in the chorus like I was talking about, and it ended up sounding so sick. Look at look at the audio here. That's so freaking sick. I get my hands in the dirt. I'm no stranger to the dark. I'm no stranger to the dark. I love it. Oh gosh, who would have thought that just chopping up audio would be so, so sick. And from here, I spent about an hour working on getting a rough mix done. All right, so it is Wednesday morning, literally the day that this video is going up, and I did get a first draft mix done. I would call this more than a rough mix. I would call this more like 75% of the way done. Done enough to show you. Reveal in three, two, one. You wear your face like a mask. Looks like you're running from your past You try to hide in plain sight What gives you the right? Try to hide your past life You better run and hide Oh, I've been fighting on the right side Been tiptoeing the sidelines I bit too close for comfort I touched the darkness just to get it over I'll take a stand for the light But I get my hands in the dirt I'm no stranger to the I'm not a saint, I'm not a hero I fall somewhere in the middle I'm not a villain, I'm not evil But that's the funny thing with morals Maybe 